Hi guys, this is Ream again from Nerdscore.com. In the previous video tutorial, we implemented this uh, book model, and uh, in this video, we will implement our index method of our book controller. So, in index, we want to show all of these books. So, let's uh, get all books from our books model. We will call all books method to get all books from our books model. Once we have all of these books, then we are going to pass these books to our view. Let's create view for this index method. In the view package, let's create another package. Call it books. And here let's create index view. In index view, we are going to pass books. So we need to accept these books. Books. Let's create simple HTML for this page. All books. Now we are getting all books from our books model. We can loop through all of these books using Scala loop. In this loop, we will get each book from this book storage. And now we can simply uh, show the information of this book. Let's say, let's create a simple link href and uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to activate it for now just to make it simple for you to understand what's going on. To access book information, type add symbol, then the variable that you want to access, which is book dot title. Let's display the price of the book. Let's display the author of the book. Now let's pass these books to our view, which is ready to render. Again, we are going to import this, this folder into our controllers file, import views.html.books and we are going to import all of these files from the book package and index.render and then we will pass our books to our view. Let's visit this URL in which will execute this index method on our book controller. And in the book controller, we are getting all books from our model and we are passing these books to our index view. And in index view, we are simply displaying it. So let's try it out and it works. So these are two books that we created in our books model, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. In the next video, we will implement this create method.